Okay, so today I have got for you what I consider to be the best EDC adjustable wrench out there. What does EDC mean? Well, that's everyday carry. So I carry like a bag around with me every day with some tools in it, and I carry this wrench. And I have since I got this wrench about a month or so ago. This is a Channel Lock 8 SWCB wrench, adjustable wrench, aka crescent wrench. Eight is for eight inch, because this wrench is eight inches long. SW, slim wrench. Here's the kicker here. See how slim the jaws are there? This is gonna fit into some tight spots. CB, 8SWCB. CB is code blue, that's channel locks verbiage for the code blue grips, the padded grips here. So 8SWCB, now this wrench is actually, it's channel lock, but it is made in Spain by a company called Irriga. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that close to correct. Irriga, E, I'm sorry, I-R-E-G-A, Irriga, from Spain. They specialize in wrenches like this. Channel lock rebrands it, sells it in the U.S. as channel lock, and uh, I gotta say, I love this thing. After using it for a month, it comes in really handy. So this is eight inches long, but this thing opens, you see the scale there. It's got both standard and metric measurements. This thing opens to basically one and 11 sixteenths. I thought it was inch at five eighths, but it actually, it goes all the way out to one and 11 sixteenths. And that's in an eight inch long combination wrench. wrench. That is spectacular. I have this Armstrong UXA, 12 inch combination, or I'm sorry, adjustable wrench. This thing only opens to like one and nine sixteenths. So this 12 inch wrench is outpaced by an eighth of an inch by this eight inch wrench. Here's another eight inch adjustable wrench. This one opens to uh, about an inch and a sixteenth. This is from Harbor Freight. This is a Pittsburgh, you know, pretty decent wrench. They sell these in a four piece set for pretty cheap. This wrench, Amazon, the channel lock, uh, not cheap, 25 to 30 bucks. I'll put links in the description, check it out. They do make a standard width jaw version of this wrench. Uh, I'll put a link for that one down there too, but I really wanted a wrench that would fit into some tight spots and hopefully you can see from the angle here from the camera this wrench, uh, it actually does have some offsets. So if you are trying to get into a flat area, it'll, it'll hold the handle up enough to where you can still use it. Now, with these slim jaws like this, you don't want to be cranking on stuff that you really got to, well, crank on. That's one thing about this 12 inch wrench. You see the jaws on that? I'll give you some measurements here. What do you prefer, metric or standard? I'll give you a standard. So the jaws on this are about 0.55 inches wide. Let's go with the channel lock. The slim wrench here. 0 0.17, 0 0.18. 0 0.18, let's call it. So what's that? A little bit less than a third is wide. 3 16 of an inch, think about right in that ballpark. It's pretty spectacular. I mean, uh, I did a review a couple months ago. I'll put a review, I'll put a link to it up here in the corner. The uh, double open end metric set, slim wrenches from Capri. And at the time, they, those came in so handy, I'd run into situations where I had to kind of Mickey Mouse things together. And those were so nice that I thought, I, I wish I had one that would fit wider than those. I think those only go up to like, what, 19 millimeter. I wanted something that was wider. And, uh, you know, I don't need stuff like that all the time, but this will fulfill that role, getting into slim spots there with a low profile jaws. Plus it's small enough, you can carry it around in your go bag. And here's something where you can help me out down in the comment section. I, you guys educate me all the time down there. Let me know, do you have an EDC 
combination wrench, adjustable wrench, pair of pliers. What do you use and keep with you all the time? I know those uh, Kaipok pliers, wrenches, things seem to be pretty popular. The ones with the smooth jaws, they're like self-adjusting robo-grip style. I've kind of wondered about those. This thing works really well and I like it. It does have some limitations. Let's talk about if it has any drawbacks. So opening up this wide with this low profile of jaw and this size head, you got this, this extra stuff up here. Uh, I don't know, I, this wrench doesn't feel flimsy, but it doesn't feel as you know thick a material as this, obviously. So if I keep it stored, I, I keep it rolled out to about, about here, like in the bag, other stuff clanks against it. That's kind of me being overly precautious. Um, yeah, eight inches long, 209 millimeters. The scale is in metric on one side, standard on the other. I really, really like this thing. It's like I said, it's come in handy, especially for light to medium duty stuff. It'll get in a lot of spots. It gives you a lot of options. You know, everybody wants like one thing that'll do everything well. And in reality, you hope to get one tool that'll do a lot of things decently well. And, uh, I think this thing does a lot of things reasonably well and uh, some things excellently. Like I said, see the offset there? Lay that flat and the handle still going up like that. I really like it. Like I say, it says inch and a half jaw capacity and that's not really what it is. It's, it's inch and 11 sixteenths. So, it packs a lot into a small package. And uh, let me know what you think. Channel lock, I love the channel lock stuff. Check out onlinetoolvendors.com. Let me know what your EDC wrench of choice is down in the comment section. Till then, ta-ta for now.